by the title of this video I can already tell you know what it's about so without further ado let's get into the video I'm so upset right now like I had to bring out my box of tissues because it's bringing back memories to when I first got the hair shipped to me and my disappointment. I could contain it back then, but just talking about it, guys, it really upsets me. Hold on. Like, it's so sad when you've been waiting all week for a package and then it gets delayed and you get told that you have to wait an extra week just for the hair to be complete and utter garbage. And that's the moment when my sadness turned into complete and utter anger. I just want my money back. Like y'all, this this hair sucks. Don't buy icy hair company. If you that special somebody, that special somebody, hey. If you that special somebody, you ain't gotta worry about me saying names. I won't tell nobody. You ain't gotta worry about me playing games like it's a time. I received this hair that I bought with my own money, so it's not sponsored. It's called I see. I see. You can see on the box here. I thought it was pretty banging. You know, the reviews were really good. And if anybody knows, if I buy Alex, if anybody knows me, when I buy AliExpress here, I do that research up and down. I look at the reviews, not just the reviews of the big um sponsors which there were a few that i trusted but i also look at the actual pages review what real people have to say about it and the pictures so i was pretty confident and again i purchased it with my own money so you can imagine my surprise when the hair was just not what i expected it was not it was terrible and i'll get into why but let me start from the beginning um for you guys who don't know I've been buying hair for years and I'm usually a braider. I like protective styles. I like something I can just put on and go and I have my daughter and my fine motor issues don't really allow me to do all that fancy snazzy stuff. So when I do buy hair, I like it to be no maintenance, like a little bob. I bought this little 10 inch, this 10 inch hair and it came with this little pack that I was like, okay, okay, you know came with like four little rods you know I don't have it now because I've had this hair for a few months now I didn't really wear it but um it was just sitting in the back of my closet and I said I'm not a reviewer but this company completely scammed me I believe and all here's why I'll tell you why um I ordered a 10 inch straight bob because I like straight it's low maintenance and if you want to curl it um you always have that option and I was like, okay, fire. I'm okay. I was like, okay, trying on the wig. I didn't initially wear it. So I'm like, okay, this is fire. I'm like, it's all right. So when I finally went to go wear it, I washed it and it curled up. I was like, hold on, wait. This, the same thing here that I ordered. And if you straighten it, you can see in the very back, if you're, if you, if you um wet it you can see in the very back that the hair is like two different hairs you can't tell right now because i had to straighten it to get it straight because it came curly even though i asked for straight and if it was a like, good curl pattern i'd be like okay just let it go try something different you know because i know this was an affordable hair it was about 65 dollars canadian so i was like okay that's fine but it's two different lengths and it's two different touches you guys can't see right now but if i wet this bad boy you guys will see and i had it in my christmas vlog and it was curled and it was just a hot mess that's why i had to put the hat i lucky thing i had the santa hat anyway so it kind of played it off but it was just so ridiculous and like two different lengths like it looked like i have a mullet in the back and then the rest is short but uh, guys that's not like that's so crazy like i don't know if you're out of stock of straight hair but if you don't have it don't send me something that i don't want like give me that option to say well all we have is curly hair but you can get a discount or do you still want this hair then i would have said gladly and i plucked the um the lace um it wasn't the lace i don't know if you guys can see the lace 
wasn't the huge issue. I thought I could deal with this. But the other thing is, the one thing I'll say is it's minimal shedding, surprisingly. The hair is just, the ends are so trashy. Like, if I didn't straighten this out, you guys would have seen. But, like, the ends just look really choppy and, like, it's the hair at the back is different from the texture in the front. If I didn't straighten it, you guys would see this oh, ridiculous hair. And, like, it's just, it was just, it's just too much. And I, I know I got the three little cute little four cook rods and the little fake eyelashes that I didn't wear because I'm not an eyelash person. I have naturally long, thick eyelashes. And the one time I did wear eyelashes, it took out my eyelashes. So I just said, mm -mm, I'd rather keep my own natural eyelashes and skip out on having those fake ones. Even though sometimes I really adore how they look on some females, it just is not worth losing the eyelashes that I do have. So, guys, like, I am so disappointed. I know this is not $200 here. I wasn't expecting much. But I wasn't expecting them to deceive me and straighten the hair that is naturally curly and straighten it and give it to me in the box. Like I wasn't going to wash it before I put it on my head. So obviously I would see that it wasn't curly. And I couldn't even dispute this because I didn't wear it months after. I didn't wear it until months after I bought it. So that was just not possible. But I contacted the seller and they said okay we're gonna work this out but i just feel like it would have been a different story if you guys just gave me bad hair and it was a mix-up or whatever but you guys deceived me like you guys gave me curly hair and tried to straighten it when i wanted naturally straight hair i i'm a low maintenance girl i like my 10 inch bobs i like my little you know, fly little edgy little short hairdos. I can't handle all that flashy shit. I have a daughter. I'm busy. Like, I can't deal with it. I'm not a girly girl in the first place. But now that I'm older and I'm a mother, I'm saying, okay, I'm kind of just a little conservative. So I'm trying. But I'm just not that type of girl to begin with. And the fact that I spent my own money and the experience was so bad and let me tell you guys, I am a person that does my research. I'm very skeptical. I'm what they call a cheapskate. <laughs> and I'm a proud one. Like, I don't care. I like to save my money. I like to um, cut corners where I can. And there's no shame in that. But when I tell you if I'm going to go on the more affordable side, I did my research. There's a bunch of good reviews of this hair and I don't really get why the hair is horrible like it's horrible to say the least and I don't know if those people are lying I know it's different when you send the hair they probably take more care in shipping it out and I might just be one of the luck the I might just be one of the unlucky ones I was about to say lucky but no, I might just be one of the unlucky ones, and that's fine, but I've been unlucky with AliExpress before, and it's never deterred me because I've never been flat out deceived. Like, the hair was straight to the bone when I got it, so I'm thinking I got the straight hair that I wanted, and just it's still curly as ever. It's not even a nice wave. Like, I don't know if you can see from my Christmas video, I had the hat on, so I tried to contain it, but it just wasn't great, and I just ran and got my hair in box braids this is what i usually do and it's i feel like it suits me better but i just wanted a change and to be deceived by that with the from a hair company that has a lot of reviews and has a reputable reputation on youtube and i did my research and to know that you know all these people say these great things about this hair company and i just didn't have that same experience makes me question everything I buy and the next time I buy hair I am going to have to inspect everything with a fine tooth comb because more so than I did before because either I'm just the most 
unluckiest person in the world and I have really bad luck or something ain't right with this hair company it's just not as good as you guys are pushing it out there and I'm not a beauty blogger I'm just a consumer because this is not my niche this is not what I do on YouTube I'm more about lifestyle and empowerment but I just I was so um, disappointed with the deceit that I just had to come on here and share this experience with you guys like I am so like like what what is this like like what is this and this is after like hours of straightening it and trying to pluck it and like what is this like no I don't know um yeah I don't know and I I literally cried because I I shed tears like a big baby because I had had conversations with this vendor I said they said they ship out good hair I, I always say I always try to build a rapport with the vendors that I buy hair from and they assured me that everything would be okay they even tried to rectify the situation after but I'm like that was kind of manipulative and not really helpful because you knew that it was too late to dispute but I, I just wanted to get that out there don't believe the hype with IC hair company I know they sell on Amazon too I don't know if they're better luck on there but but do not buy from this hair company you all like like just just, just don't do it don't do it I like I I wouldn't tell you something if it wasn't the truth and I'm not sponsored I'm not here trying to make a buck this is just my honest reaction and I know it took me a while after wearing the hair to get on here but I was just so in much in disbelief because I did my research I'm not one of those people that just run out and buy hair when they see a picture I did my research and I still I still got swindled by this company and it's terrible and I hate it but I definitely have learned my lesson I'll be more cautious when it comes to AliExpress and if you guys know any good hair vendors because like I said I'm not a pro please start the conversation below let me know of some good vendors that you guys use that are affordable and maybe on the pricey side because I say quality over quantity like I'd rather have one one or two bomb ass wigs even if I have to pay a couple hundred dollars than have a bunch of mediocre wigs that I have to do so much too because I'm not a style guru I'm not into plucking every day putting that makeup like I know I, there's some maintenance that comes with it and beauty is just pain that's inevitable but if I'm buying hair I don't want to be doing all this stuff because I'm not a beauty specialist this is not my field I'm a tomboy at heart so I don't really care to do that I don't care to spend my day fixing my hair I, I, I don't yeah. don't forget to like share and subscribe so you don't miss an update on any upcoming videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you can be notified every time i upload a new video bye guys have a great day i'm out